Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to share with you today a, something about the fruits of the Spirit. I'm going to share with you a vision out of a book, too, and I'm going to kind of dive right into it because I'm going to make this video pretty short so everybody will kind of want to watch it. Matthew 7, 16. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or, or, thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good, for, every good tree brings forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. Matthew 3 and 8. Therefore, bring forth, bring good fruits, meat for repentance. Okay. No. Kind of the message of this is, you know, what kind of fruits are we bringing forth? Are we showing the world about Jesus? Do we have the fruits of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering meekness you know we're showing that to our spouses our husbands our wives to other members of the church to the world in general i mean what are we portraying you know, are we those trees of life are we you know life and death is in the power of the tongue are we proclaiming life to people around us or are we doing like the news media which i watch it but with some disdain because you know a lot of it's misinformation mistruths whatever you want to call it but they portray the world as just a mess, racially divided, all kinds of all kinds of garbage. But what are, what are the true people of Jesus Christ per, portraying? What are we showing the world? What do we have to offer that's different? You know, when I was growing up, we had this orchard, an apple orchard, alongside of our house in the backyard, actually. And it probably had 30 trees in it. But every year it produced rotten fruit. I mean, you couldn't even eat off it. They were rotten right from the beginning, growing on the tree. So our neighbors, a couple blocks down, had a really nice apple tree. Green green apples. I really liked green apples. So a little tart, but I really liked it. He used to jump his fence to get apples, and he'd chase us off every, every so often. But the apples were really good. So what, what kind of fruits are we producing? What kind of fruits are we showing in this world? You know, we're in a last day, end time move of God, and it's all about Jesus, and that's what we need to portray to the world. We're in a grace dispensation. Just look at some of my messages about economic collapse and the things that are already happening. Show you that, that we're living in a grace dispensation. I want to read a short vision with you, because I promised you that I'd keep this, this video short. I got a free book out there about visions and writings of promise, hope, and a future for America. God's not through with this country done with this country yet because there's a last day end time move of him coming he wants to be lifted up so anyhow here's the vision and i'm going to kind of end with that look at some of my other videos it'll tell you how to get a copy of the free book no cost to you or if you want it on amazon.com i saw a man walking in a large dirt field he was speaking the words i am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me shall be saved suddenly a vine wrapped around him from his neck down to his feet. As he stepped on the ground at certain places where people heard, heard him, they would come up out of the ground and stand there. The field became dotted with people. Suddenly it began to rain. The people standing who heard the word began preaching, pr being, being preached, had vines wrapped around them also from head to toe. The rain fell on the people wrapped in the vine only. It never hit the ground. The sky was crystal clear and the sun was shining. And Jesus spoke and said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Psalm 72, 6 and 7. John 11, 25, 26. John 15, 1 through 8. I want to read something else real quick too. And then I'm going to end this. I'm going to make this five minutes or less. I am the vine, ye are the branches. Vines are a representation of our life intertwined with Jesus. They have deep roots which bring forth life into the main vine, which is Jesus. And that vine brings forth life to all to the branches which are in Jesus. So when we're attached to the vine, of course we're going to bring forth good fruit. That's just, that's just going to happen. So that's what we need to portray to the world. Something, some good news, not some bad news, not all this racial divisiveness and... Donald Trump said this, and Congress did that, and just a mess, you know. Look at the news on Hurricane Harvey and most and Hurricane Irma. It was just doom and gloom. It was going to tear everything. And yeah, it tore up a lot of stuff in Puerto Rico, and there's a lot of people suffering because of it. But there wasn't a big loss of life, and it wasn't 
as much, you know, they want it to be just so destructive. That's how the news media is. That's what the world's portraying. Death, doom, gloom. Just, just stuff. Stuff that's not from God. You know, Jesus is the answer. Jesus at the center. Look at some of my other videos. There's some really awesome videos out there about Jesus being at the center. That's what this country needs. So anyhow, I'm going to kind of end it at that. I don't want to be political, get on a soapbox. But thanks for listening. We love you. God bless you all. Have a great and wonderful day.